often when I'm giving a student a critique or an apprentice a critique, we're talking about, we're trying to become more articulate. Right. And that may be editing out information that's extraneous, maybe interesting information, but is competitive right. with what's already in there. Right. Um, or um, looking for clarity in the ideas that they're already putting in there. Mm -hmm. How do we refine that? What do you like about that and how do we get more of that? Mm -hmm. and so this is a picture by Mark Hewitt, who uh, was fairly classically trained mm -hmm. out of the Cardew tradition. What do you see in the piece? Yeah, so I mean, I think, so I think it's a few things. First, I would just really specifically look at um, it as a physical thing. So we have this beautiful volume, right? We have a rising sense of volume because the widest part is a little bit higher than halfway, mm -hmm. which is giving the pot a sense of lift. And then it comes into a tight neck and then it opens back up again. That's also giving it a lift as opposed to if it was going straight. I mean, there's not a mistake why some pots look like they have a sense of inhaling or exhaling or going up or going down. You know, there's very specific things. That's not a magic thing. That's a really specific thing. So I think that this handle being attached just slightly above the widest part makes the widest part look wider. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit like, because um, it's drawing attention to, to where it's attached and then a little bit a little bit lower. And then I think how this spout, it's flattened here a little bit, is making this seem fuller. Right, so it has these sort of opposing things happening in the form, right? So this is a little bit not at the halfway point. If it was right at the halfway point, which is right here where it attached, we wouldn't really see it as much. But since it's just a little bit above that, we kind of hone in on this area a little bit more. Is it um, sort of because uh, there's a little bit of unexpected um, quality? Like one might expect it to continue yeah. that line yeah. there. So it's just a hair off yeah. that which pulls our attention and makes it something that's resonant instead we, of so comfortable it drops in the background. Right, and it makes us look at it a little bit more, mm -hmm. right? So it draws us in to make, it, make a look at it. I mean, I think that, so, I mean, that's just the form that's working. The little bit of foot down here on the bottom is grounding this swelling form in a way that seems really key, right? If this just stopped, right, that's a kind of a classic early Potter problem is if you don't have an articulated foot, do you know, that then suddenly you think that pot might go right through the table, you know. So I think that little bit of a line down there is also helping and it kind of helps pick up the lip a little bit. So I also think that how this pinch is pushing this part back is making this seem fuller because this whole pot is about internal volume, right? This whole pot's about having a sense of swell and form. But I mean some of those things you're talking about um, that uh, how did you phrase it, that pr the predictability, mm -hmm. um, you know, there's certain rules right. that some people, some teachers teach, right, right, um, about like where that handle's supposed to spring from, right, right, or relationships of width of handle to width of spout. And those rules come right. from like a reality of three-dimensional design, right? They come from reality of three-dimensional designs, they come from, um, how do you make the handle belong as you draw relationships with other parts of the pod, right? right? Um, so, so that um, there is flow and connectivity, which is design, right? right? Um, this, you were talking a little bit about this articulation up here right. uh, on the spout. Um, it isn't just articulated spout. I see so many early beginner pods when they people pull a spout. This space is not articulated. Right. Right. right, it it bleeds right into this. Right, but some of those things that you're talking about, predictabilities, um, are at some level um, sort of guidelines we look for sure. that make I don't want to say rules, but guidelines. Like you were talking about separating the foot right. from the table, giving right. some sort. But how you do that? Right, there's a myriad of options. Um, I love in Madeline Langle's, uh A Wrinkle in Time. Mm -hmm. I know they just made a movie out of it, but uh, I've, I've been quoting it for a long time because uh, she talks about a sonnet. Mm -hmm. And in a sonnet, you can, um, it's very strict poetry, mm -hmm. formal. Mm -hmm. 14 lines, I am Nick Pantamidaire, all these right. rules, or it's right. not a sonnet. Right. But you can write a sonnet about anything. Right. So as long as you have some nod, Right. to separation 
to right. shadow line development. You right. can do do anything, and you can do it predictably. Right. Or you can do it very unpredictably. Like, uh, I mean, I think predictable sounds a little bit not great, but I think that actually we find comfort in it. Yeah. Because then we all have something to agree on to start somewhere. And I think this thing, like saying like this handle connects here to this, that, like everybody figures that out eventually, but it's one of the hardest things to really talk specifically about why pots are working. It's actually really hard. Like, is right. this too thick? Is this too thin? How does this come to this? And that's what it's all about. I think it's easy to kind of get like a little bit lofty and these other sort of things, but I find what's sort of most helpful for my students is to say like, is the handle too big? Like honest to God, like flat out, is it too big? Uh -huh. And what's happening there? And that sometimes that really kind of nuts and bolts um, evaluation of pottery is as powerful. It is because they start seeing individual elements in relationship to each other. They right. they start asking those questions about um, yeah it it, it uh, handhold is it's it's something oh yeah I can change that right and see the effect of that change if I make that handle wider. And I would and I think formal qualities are really important. I mean I think ideas are essential concepts but I do think there can be an over intellectualization of anything because words are sexy right and I think that to really nail down why something's working is really hard.